All right. Well, here we are. Get a little thinking fuel going. Oh, just because it's free, it's not good. Remember that. Sportster is failing, losing lots of oil. So what I've come up with is it's probably not a good idea to seep oil all over my motor and then seep all the way onto my brakes, onto the tire, all the time. So now I've got to fix it. So what I've come up with is uh, I bought these, what is it, a, a billet kit, but it's a push rod retaining clip that keeps failing. It's holding down the rubbers that go inside, tearing them up. I didn't do a good job. Who knows? I'm not a mechanic. But I bought this kit from Hammer Performance. one solid piece instead of two on each cylinder so it should hold it down a little bit better that's what I read it sounded it sounded smart fancy so the way I see it is they were cheaper so I'm gonna go with them instead of buying new ones but uh, it also came with all the goodies and stuff so can't beat that screaming deal I'll put the website information in the bottom of the link or wherever the hell people do it in YouTube and we'll get to it. Other than that, I gotta sit here and read all the specs on this crappy Bible that I don't recommend, but it's got all the easy stuff in it. If you're getting too complicated, it's not great. But I'm gonna sit here and write down the specs because I gotta take the top end loosely off just to get those push rod covers off. And here we go. Alright, so I'm going to try to show you this oil bowl. So it's pretty hard to see, but as you can see, there's oil there, oil there, oil seeping back here, and it just seeps on back down all over to that stuff. Um, it's also seeping back there, and then spreading backwards underneath but I got to replace these guys this one's the one the culprit this one I fixed but way she goes I'm just gonna fix all of them here we go All right, now that I'm looking at this thing, I think I'm just gonna take off the hard side first. Cause this thing's hard to get out, this top plate, it rubs and all kinds of fun stuff. So that's gonna suck. But uh, stuff that in there, I got the carburetor out. Make sure nothing falls in there. I mean, this is totally gunked up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some cleaning.
All right, now the fun begins. Gotta get this thing out. Well, I'm glad I recorded that because I would have never came out the same. All right, now I got this piece. Everything's looking pretty good. All right. All right, I like to take these, all these outside ones out first. And then do the bigger bolts last. All right, these ones, I try to let them off a little bit at a time in a zigzag pattern. <clears throat> You'll know when it's raised off a bit. It's probably a little overkill, but it's all good. probably enough you'll hear it pop oh, shit There we go.
Um, I just adored this guy, uh, and I think one of the, um, things that people need to know Those to 140 inch pounds. center on the compression stroke on the other cylinder but we're not going to do it quite yet here's a at this point this is a key spot here with a lot of people this is where a lot of people make a mistake um this is very very important a lot of guys are oh i got my rocket front assembly ready okay i'm going to rotate the motor over to top dead center on the compression Nice. 